Okay, so this is now, I turn the drum around, this is the bass head. You can hear the low sound. So, first stroke is what we call gi. Well, there's different variations depending on which part of India you're in and stuff. But basically we're hitting the drum with bringing our hand just to the edge. And if we can go this way for a second, you'll see that I'm not even... See my fingers? They're not coming down like this. They're just hitting it briefly and coming off. If we let the fingers land, we're going to get a dead sound. This is the open bass head with full bass sound. This is kind of like when we're doing this in the chant, this is what people often refer to as the heartbeat of the chant, the bass. It's our strongest stroke. And then the other main stroke that we do in the left hand is ka. This is basically, and I'm going to bring the drum around again. This is basically your fingers just relaxed but landing right in the middle, slightly spread. And not totally flat. If your hand is totally flat, it'll kind of bounce. Just let the fingers be relaxed. So um, if I turn it this way again, when you hit, there's actually a little space underneath and that allows for that slight pop in the sound. It's a what we call a dead stroke, like the T in the right hand was. When we hit that, nothing rings. So a good exercise here is to practice going gi, ka. Ah, this one's called ka. So gi, ka, gi, ka. Again, slowly enough that you can really feel that there's two separate things going on. Gi, ka, gi, ka. And if I do the te tun na in the right hand, just showing you briefly how we can start to combine them. But that'll be in another video. All right. Have fun.